Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we discussed on how we can create one uh, Spring Boot API so that we can delete the product details by the ID. So we have seen uh, this creating the API in the last session itself. Now in this session, we are going to see how we can use this API in our UI and how we can uh, add a uh, edit and delete button in front of our each and every uh, product detail row and uh, primarily we are going to focus on the delete functionality only so whenever we will click on the delete button then respected record will get deleted so backend is already ready so if you haven't watched that session you can check out that session by clicking over here and then you can just continue with this ui part so without testing much more time let me just go to the angular material official site over here the button that I'm just going to use is icon button. So if you see Angular Material itself provides the icon button uh, like this and we can use uh, beautiful icons and then we can make it more interactable. So I'm just going to use the delete and edit icon for my, uh, for my table. So if you see uh, when you click on the view button then you will get the code as well. So for, for icon uh, we have uh, this particular code so you can just copy the code or maybe you can just write it by on your own so let me just quickly show you how we can do um, this so before that let me just first of all do one thing first of all whenever we are going to use a icons then we have to import a icons module so let me just quickly import that icons module so let me just go to the icon uh, section and then inside this let me just go to the api and then let me just copy this import line so the reason i just need to import it because i'm just going to use it for the very first time because uh, like whenever you you use any new uh, module you have to import it once it is imported then you don't need to import you can just use it anytime so let me just go copy this line let me just go uh, go to the vs code and let me just go to the app.module.ts file inside the app.module.ts file let me just import this particular mat icon module and let me just copy this mat icon module and let me just put it inside the imports array like this and let me just save this code and the next thing that we have to do is we have to restart the application because now just we have imported the new module and that's the reason we have to uh, restart the application so whenever you import any new module make sure you are restarting the application because uh, because otherwise you might there might be chances like you might get some error and you, like uh, I don't want you to get that errors so that's the reason you can restart it now let me just come to the Google Chrome and let me just refresh the application and yes everything is working as expected now the next thing that we have to do is we have to add two new columns first one will be for edit second one will be for a delete and uh, let me just quickly show you let me just go back to the vs code and then let me just go to the show product details dot component dot html and then what we have to do is we have to add two different columns so previously we have added few columns so for every single column we have to add this ng container so let me just copy this ng container and let me just paste it at the end so first ng container will be for a edit so let me just give a comment as well so edit button like this and then so let me just make it as uh, comment like this and similarly we have to add a delete button as well so let me just copy the same and let me just paste it for the delete like this and now the next thing that we have to do we have to add the column names into our ts file as well so let me just go to the show product detail dot component dot ts file inside this previously we have created one array that is displayed columns at the end of these columns we have to add two more columns so first one will be a edit and comma we have a delete like this and let me just save this now let me just copy this edit column name let me just come back to the html and let me just use it for the mat column definition 
and let me just use it as a column name like this and then as of now let me just keep this element uh, as it is let me just come back to the ts file again let me just do the same for the delete let me just copy this delete uh, button name and let me just use it as a mat column definition and let me just use the use it as a column name like this and let me just save this code now let me just come back to the google chrome and yes uh, we are able to see this edit and delete is added now we have to just remove these numbers because it is a previous values that because we have just copy pasted it and now we have to use icons instead of it so now let me just go to the angular material site let me just come back to the buttons and then if you see the view button uh, view code button then you have um, the code for icon so you have the code for button icon so let me just copy anything or maybe we can just type it it is pretty simple so let me just use inside this 3d so let me just use button tag so button and then what we have to just do is we have to just use a my mat icon like this inside this mat icon tag we have to give a um, icon name so i will just show you where you can find the icon names but over here we have to apply one uh, attribute for the button so which is a mat icon button like this and make sure you are just giving the current correct spelling and now let me just save this code now let me just come back to the google chrome and we have one site which is fonts.google.com slash icons over here you will find almost every single icon that any application may require so i just require a icon for a delete so over here if you see we have the delete icon as well and this delete is basically a name of this icon so whenever you want to use the icon you have to use the name of the icon and if you want you can just search for any icon as well so let me just copy this icon name or maybe we can just type it as it is so whenever you will click on it you will see all the information uh, at the um, uh, right hand side so let me just copy the name of it let me just come back to the vs code and let me just paste it inside of my mat icon and let me just save it and let me just come back to the chrome let's see what happens on our ui so as of now we are not getting anything on our ui or maybe it is not working as expected let me refresh it yes it is not working as expected and over here let me see what happens so over here we have to give a color as well so let me just use color is equals to primary like this and let me just save this code and now let's see what happens so again still we are not be able to get it and let me just use this small d like this and yes so we have to use every single thing in a small case like delete in a small case and yes we are able to get the delete icon but again i just miss uh, i just done a small mistake i just added this icon uh, inside the edit column so for the edit we have one more icon that is having the name as edit only so let me just give the name and let me just come back to the google chrome uh, and let's see yes now edit icon is visible similar icon we have to add it for the delete now let me just copy the same thing like same button and let me just remove this from td and let me just paste it and let me just give the name it as a delete like this and for the delete i'm just going to add a color as a worn color which is a red color and let me just come back to the chrome yes delete button is also uh, looking perfectly fine so now the next thing is whenever we are clicking on this button nothing is happening so we want to make this button uh, as an action button so whenever we will click on the delete button this particular respected record i want to be deleted from the database so we have to add a click event on this delete button uh, so let me just show you how we can do this so let me just come back to the vs code and over here for this button we have to add a click event so let me just add a click is equals to and let me just create one function that is called as a delete product and this function is going to take one parameter which is 
uh, ID of the product that we are clicking on. So how you will get the ID? So over here, if you see, we have one variable that is a element. So as of now, I'm just passing this element as it is to my function as a parameter. And now we have to create the function as well inside our TS file. So let me just copy this name and let me just come back to the show product details TS. And over here, let me just create one new function like this. And as of now, let me just do one thing console.log and let's see what we get what we get exactly inside the element. And now let me just save it. Now we can go to the Google Chrome. Let me just open the inspect and console. And let me now refresh the file and then let me click on the delete button. So now if you see whenever we click on the delete button, we are able to see the product details. But these are the all the product details like it contains every single information about the product. But I'm not in interested in all the information. I'm just interested in this product ID because anyway, we are going to use a product ID only to delete the record. So I'm interested in this product ID. So let me just do one thing. Let me just copy this product ID key. And from my HTML file, what I will do is I will just send element dot product ID like this. Now let me just uh, keep it as it is or maybe instead of the element, let me just give the proper name like product ID and we can just use console.log product ID like this. And again, we can just do the same thing. Let me click on it. And yes, now we are able to see the five on the console. So five is nothing but the product ID of this iPhone 7. Now, this particular thing is working perfectly fine. The only thing that we have left back is creating a service function and then calling that service function from our delete product function. So to do this, let me just go to the services folder inside the product.service.ts file and then we have to add new function like public then delete product this delete product function is going to take one parameter which is of type in uh, which is of type number so let me just use product id which is of type number like this and again from this we have to call the api so this dot http client dot delete and then inside the brackets we have to give our uh, URL and also we have to give our product ID. So let me just do one thing. Let me just go to the postman and we have previously created this API like HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 9090 slash delete product details slash three. So three is basically a dynamic value we have to pass. So three is nothing but an ID of the product. Let me just copy the same. Let me just paste it over here. And lastly, let me just remove this three and let me just append my product ID variable. So let me just copy it and let me just paste it like this. And it should work perfectly fine. Let me just save this uh, product service. And now the only thing that we have left back is calling the delete uh, function from our product service into this delete product function. So let me just use this dot product service dot delete product. And then I'm just going to pass the product ID that I have received from the HTML. And then we have to just subscribe to it. So let me just subscribe. And then let me just use, uh, again, we have to use two different callback functions. So first one will be for a, a response and second one will be for a error. So let me just use RESP response and let me just use console.log response. And similarly, what we have to do is we have to create one more for error and that error of type HTTP response error response. And again, let me just use console.log error like this. 
and over here for the subscribe i am getting some issues so let's see uh, what what are the thing that i am getting let me just go to the delete product and over here if we see we have missed a return keyword so let me just add return in front of it like this and now our let me just go to the ts file again show product details component ts and yes the error is vanished and subscribe is uh, i mean we are not getting any issues with the subscribe now let me just do one thing let me just first of all save the product and i mean save the file and let's see whether it is compiled so yes it is compiled let me just do one thing let me just try to now refresh the application and now let me just try to delete the application uh, delete the record so i am whenever i am clicking on the delete so as of now the record is already been deleted because api is called and record is deleted but our ui is not refreshed so if you now refresh the ui you will see that record is uh, not present so the next thing that we have to do whenever we will click on the edit uh, whenever we will click on the delete button that time only we want to refresh our ui so we want the fresh data to be populated on the ui so this is pretty simple let me just go to the vs code and then previously we created the function that is get all products this function we have to call again whenever we will get the response so let me just use this dot get all products like this and now let me just save this file now we can go to the google chrome again and as of now we don't have any uh, any record in the table because all the records are already deleted so let me just add one record for it so that we can test it out so let me just make it as i'm just adding some random values because i just don't want to waste lot of time so one record i have added then let me just add one more which is iphone 11 and then let me just add one image as well and then let me just add one more that is iphone 13 then iphone 13 actual price let's suppose 1200 dollars discounted price is 1150 like this so now we have three different records inside a table so now let me just try to do one thing let me just try to delete the middle record that is a 9 let's see what happens so i'm deleting the iphone 11 let me just click on it so yes iphone 11 is deleted successfully now let me just try to delete iphone 7 and yes it is also deleted successfully so if you refresh the application uh, like both of the records are deleted permanently so now everything is looking perfectly fine and it is working as expected so i hope you got an idea around this like how you can use a icon button in a angular material and also how you can uh, add the icons in front of every single row inside a table and how you can add the click event and how you can delete uh, the respected record by clicking on these uh, buttons in the next session uh, from the next session onwards we are going to focus on this edit functionality so again we have different things like back end and front end so we are going to look into uh, those operations from the next session onwards so i hope you got an idea around this and if you still have any questions let me know into comment section and we will see in the next session